This question is from uh, rotational motion. Check your understanding. This is first question from the book Pathfinder. So let us see what is the question and then we will see how do we proceed to solve this. So question is there are two identical thin rigid rods. You can see these two rods, AB and CD, AB and this is CD rod. Length is L and they are touching each other at a point P. This is point P. Rotate in a plane about the stationary ends A and C. So this and these two ends are stationary. They are rotating about these two points. And the distance between this is H. So AC distance is H. Velocity of their ends B and D is V1 and V2. So this is V1 and that is V2. We have to find the component of velocity of their point of intersection P. This is point of intersection along the rod AB. So along this rod, so as these two rods will move, this point of intersection will also move. We need to find out the velocity of point of intersection along this rod, right? Component of that along this rod, right? And then alpha and beta is given. So let us see how do we solve. It looks complicated, but actually it is a simple question. So in this, this is the bigger diagram. Here, this is beta, this is alpha. So this makes this angle as beta minus alpha. Now the AP distance right now, I have marked as L, small L. Length of the rod is capital L. Now in this triangle, if we write sine rule, then sine beta minus alpha divided by H and see H remains constant. So sine beta minus alpha divided by H is equal to sine alpha, no, sorry, sine 180 with this angle is 180 minus beta. So sine 180 minus beta divided by L, L is this line. So guess what, what do you want to find out? You want to find out DL by DT. So as this, these two rods move, the point of intersection will move, but we have to find out its velocity component along this rod. So we can just differentiate, right? L length, and then that will give us the required answer. So L I have found now, L is in terms of beta and alpha and H, H is constant, and we can just do DL by DT. So when you do DL by DT, here, so I'm using UV rule, UYV rule, and H is constant. So you can see sine beta minus alpha, sine beta becomes cos beta, and then D beta by DT, because beta is also changing. Likewise here, these two terms you understand. And now when I differentiate this, I get D beta by DT minus D alpha by DT, right? Because beta and alpha are changing, they're not constant. Divided by this square that you know. Now here, see the point is that when this rod is rotating, CD rod is rotating, then beta is increasing. So beta is increasing. So d beta by dt is equal to omega angular velocity of this rod, which is v2 by capital L, length of the rod, v2 by capital L. Beta is increasing, so I've written this as positive. Now here, when this rod is moving in this direction, you can see that this angle is going to reduce. So this, when this rod rotates like this, this angle reduces. So alpha is decreasing. So if alpha is decreasing, d alpha by dt is going to be negative. So that is minus V by V1 by L, velocity V1 divided by L. This end is fixed. These two values of D alpha by DT and D beta by DT, we can substitute here. And that is how we get the answer, right? So that's it. It looks complicated, but actually it is a simple question, but it is very important for JE advanced. So if you have liked this analysis, please uh, like this video and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. We'll meet again.